Hi guys, uh, Nerd Boy Joe here. Uh, I'm not going to edit this video. I apologize if it's shaky and uh, you know there's a bunch of crap in the video, but I wanted to take a quick video because this was driving me nuts, and I just want to tell everyone what I did uh, to fix this. So uh, yeah, a couple days ago, uh, Telus uh, up here in uh, Vancouver, Canada, uh, they came and they installed. Um, a brand new uh, smart home security system with all the bells and whistles, all the fancy cameras, and and there's like a, one of those Wi-Fi uh, door locks there that you can control uh, remotely. And one of the items installed was this uh, SkyBell uh, HD doorbell camera, and um, I love it. It's got a, a 1080p uh, camera on it, uh, fisheye lens, and. Uh, you know, you can see if anyone's stealing your Amazon packages at your front door. Um, so I'm happy with this bell. But I was unhappy about something else that I discovered, uh, you know, the day after the tele TELUS technicians uh, left. And I'll show you what that is right now. So let's walk inside. Okay. Right there is where the doorbell chime is installed. This is actually uh, a new one, but let me show you the old one. So the old one, not that, uh, the old one, there's there's the, uh, the cover on it. And there's the old chime. I don't know how old it is. I mean, this could be like 50 years old. This is a very old house. So the brand name is uh, T-Rhine. And it is, as you can see here, right there, it's a uh, 16 volt uh, chime, which is um, the right recommended um, voltage of uh, mechanical doorbell chimes to work with that um, Skybell uh, doorbell camera. Um, you can see here, that uh, this uh, connects uh, in my wall to a transformer that uh, uh, converts the voltage to um, from whatever 120 whatever to uh, 16 volts. And um, anyways, what uh, what I noticed with this chime uh, last night, this is long after the Telus guy left, that uh, there was this um, this annoying hum. Not quite a buzz, I'd say more of a hum, an annoying hum coming from this unit, this uh, doorbell chime. Um, you know, you couldn't hear it from the living room, but if you're in the, the hallway where it got installed and you're within a few feet of it, you could definitely hear it and kind of annoying. You really notice it late at night when there's not no TV on, no people moving around. And I thought, boy, I can't live with this. I'm going to go crazy. So I read some tips on the internet and I also went to the Skybell website. Um, Skybell uh, talked about, uh, oh, you should uh, um, try replacing the chime with one that uh, we recommend. So, so there's a number of models of uh, the Heath Zenith chime that they recommend. Um, this was a kit I got from uh, Home Depot that has um, the chime, a the 16 volt transformer and these two switches, which well, they're useless to me. And I was hoping and praying I wouldn't have to replace this because that's somewhere in the wall. I'd have to, you know, take drywall off to get at that thing. I didn't want to do that. Um, I know for some people the hum actually comes from this, but I was hoping it was coming from this and it turns out it was. So if you're interested in the model number of this kit, uh, there it is right there. SL271102-02. And uh, you could buy the chime separately that comes with this. Um, they don't say the chime model number on here, but if you go to Home Depot's site and you find the kit, I think it'll tell you which chime model is in it. Anyways, I found uh, on a couple of websites, they said that the chime model in this box is compatible with the Skybell HD. So uh, let's see uh, how I... Uh, took this out and hooked up the other one. So first of all, this thing just pops off, right? And it's got these little um, clips here. 
it's sort of like a snap-on fit and it just came off easy. I just popped it off easily. Um, now there were three leads hooked up into here and you should label the leads when you take them off or take a photo. But in my case, there was like, I think a yellow one coming to rear, a gray one coming to transformer, and I think a green one coming to front. And so that's front door. This goes to transformer, that goes to back door. Strangely, the, the back door one was hooked up, but there's no doorbell out there. So I'm not sure where the hell it goes. I guess the previous owner might know, but uh, I'm not talking to him today. Uh, anyway, so I disconnected these three wires. Um, that powered down the, the, not surprising, that powered down the camera. Um, so the next thing I had to disconnect was, uh, I just took one screw out of here and uh, one screw out of there. And then uh, I tried to pop this off and it's still kind of stuck. And it turns out it was kind of painted onto the wall a little bit. So I had to get out a putty knife and kind of just chip away at a little bit of the paint. And then I was able to pop that off. Um, easily. So now let's go see what I did uh, with the chime. Oh, I need a ladder. Again, I apologize, I'm not going to edit this thing. Uh, this, uh, I just want to do this quick. Uh, here we go. Okay, so let's pop this off. So this is another one of these force fit snap on things. So that pops off. So here's the, uh, the new unit. Um, and you can see it's a Heath CS. You might even be able to see the model number on there. WD1 base. I don't know. There's the wiring diagram. Anyway, so I, I hooked this up. And first of all, this part didn't come with it. Let me explain that in a couple minutes. But here you can see I put the yellow to the rear, the gray to the transformer, and the white to the front. I think it said green earlier, but it turns out it was white. Um, anyways, uh, yours might be different. So take a photo or, you know, label the wires with tape or something before you disconnect it so you know how to put it back together again. Anyway, so I, I hooked this thing up and um, after I hooked it up, there was still a bit of a hum, although it was noticeably less than with the old uh, t Ryan or Trine uh, doorbell chime. Um, so a lot less annoying, um, but still a little bit annoying. I mean, I probably could have lived with it, but um, I know on uh, the internet, I saw some tips about, oh, you can fix this problem by putting a resistor between the transformer and the doorbell. And uh, a lot of guys recommended uh, uh, 10 ohm uh, half watt resistor, 10 ohm half watt. And um, I went to the electronics store. There's one here in my neck of what's called RP Electronics in, on Dawson Street in Burnaby. And uh, the guy I talked to, I told him my application and he said, oh, well, that resistor will work, but why don't you get one with higher wattage? It's better at dissipating heat because he said that one might get hot. And sure enough, I saw on the internet, some people have tried the solution with the, the 10 ohm uh, half watt uh, resistor. Uh, a couple of those resistors went up in smoke. I'm like, well, I don't want to have a fire. So he said, oh, okay, so why don't you try one with the same ohms, 10 ohms, but uh, way more watts. So it was five watts. So 10 ohm, five watt is what I tried. And uh, the, the watts just give you more ability to dissipate a heat. I'm not an electrician, so don't take my word on it. That's just what the guy at the electronics store told me. So instead of buying the little itty bitty 10 ohm half watt resistors, I got the 10 ohm 5 watt resistor. And I hooked it up and the buzz went away. And also when I tested the doorbell, uh, it still sounded great. Um, I will tell you that uh, the resistor alone solution kind of sort of worked with this old T-Rhyme doorbell chime, except the buzz went away, but the, the doorbell didn't function as well. So the, the resistor cuts the amount of power, shall we say, that gets to this. So it has less ability to strike the plates, this plunger here. That plunger, that's what makes the sound. So if there's less power to go into that, it doesn't go up as forcefully and it's kind of quiet. 
So I found, yeah, it was kind of like that, almost like a dead sound. It kind of sort of worked with the resistor, but not really. So ultimately what I'm trying to say is the best solution for me, in my case, was not only the Heath Zenith, Zenith Heath Zenith, that's hard to say, Heath Zenith uh, door chime, but also the resistor. And I can tell you that this is not hot to the touch or anything. So I got no concerns there. Uh, there's not going to be a fire. So, um, anyways, uh, what else? The guy at the electronic store said, um, if there's not enough power getting to the, the chime after putting on the resistor, you can play around with the ohms. Um, leave the watts the same, but play around with the ohms. And I think he said, go higher ohms, but the same wattage. So he said maybe, in that case, 20 ohm, five watt might've worked, um, uh, like to cut the buzz and also still leave enough power uh, coming through to uh, the chime. But in my case, with, uh, with the Heath Zenith, this uh, 10 ohm, five watt resistor was perfect for me. So anyway, um, I hope that helps out anyone who has installed a SkyBell uh, HD camera and um, doorbell camera and found there was some buzzing or humming on the doorbell chime.